a couple of teams that get together tonight that will also be featured on Christmas Day in the NBA. Well, look, he's been in that conversation for all defense, defensive player of the year. He's been in that space. You see John Morant with just the ridiculous spin move. Steven Adams able to clean it up. Brooks to Jackson. Gets into the paint. They score more points in the lane than anybody in the NBA as well. That's their game. Chris Paul making his first finals a few years ago. But for Memphis, it's just been a move. You see Chris Paul with the mid with the mid-range game, the master of the mid-range. And that's what you're gonna see over the next probably 25 games. You're gonna see uh, you know, three or four teams probably separate themselves. Right now it is thick in that middle. As you see, Taylor Brooks knock down that easy. Three. Here comes Memphis, third in the NBA in fast break points. Brooks with the pull up. Timeout, Suns. To stepping aside with the toe issue. Jackson gets in the lane. Another offensive rebound. They are a lot to handle down there, and you've got to be able to match them on that offensive glass. Playing in just his 16th game. Morant pulled up and after knocking down two in a row, a little chatter from John. And then here comes Morant. Working on Paul. Adams with the follow and the flush. Brooks. High off the window. Sharic picked. Numbers for Memphis, three on one. Back to Brooks for the lay-in. And one. 52% from downtown. I don't remember who told Doc Rivers this, but he told, but he told Doc Rivers, you need more agitators on your team. I just don't <laughs> want to misquote the right person. George, what you got for us? Beth to Richard's point, when he went to the bench, after the initial huddle, he was just kind of standing to the side, and everybody was coming up, dapping him up, basically telling him, do you, do you. So this is exactly who he is. So do the Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns got more than enough talent. So it's just a matter of your approach and how you're going to go about it, and I love their confidence. And Desmond Bain knocks it down. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you give us an update on, on your status as you continue to rehab from the ACL? Uh, things are going well. Jackson off the fake. Suns fans wanted a travel. Instead, it's Clark with another offensive rebound. Conchar back to Clark. The pull up mid range and hit it. Brandon's but, back home. But if Clark's knocking down this shot, right, that, that's not, you know, that's his range. It's funny you mentioned that, and, and it wasn't much of a setup. But, yeah, hey, Matt, what are you doing? Uh, I'm looking to get out of this TV stuff. I would love to come work for you so here soon. in Phoenix. So soon. I'm ready. No. And here comes John. Six points, the three assists. Morant lobs to Adams. How many Christmas days did you get in? I, I was in three. 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 That, that, was, that was all I got. Ooh, Adams with a nice block. Scoring in the paint four years running, and they are on pace to do it again this year under Taylor Jenkins, who, by the way, is one win away from moving into sole possession of number two win. I, I was actually teammate with Danny Green when Lionel Hollins took over the job uh, and, and, um, and went to... Uh, and went to Memphis and watching what he did. Brooks weaving his way inside, hangs and hits over Aiton. George, what is the Suns story coming out of the locker room? Beth, I spoke to Kevin Young, assistant coach for the Suns, and he said, particularly on offense, they got to touch the paint more. When they got in the paint, good things happen, as you see right there with DeAndre Ayton getting the bucket. We go paint to great. So we get into the paint, and then we try and get a great shot off of that. Great, great job by, by George Sedano pointing that out, because they need a lot more of that and less of lobs like that from Jaron Jackson Jr. Just kidding, <laughs> Dallas fans. Dirk is an icon. It's a joke. Jackson with the left hand up and in.
or, or excuse me, 40, 27, and, and, and 12. Yeah. Then he goes 13, 13, and 13. So I'm looking forward to that. And speaking of looking forward to something, I know they are glad to see Desmond Bain back knocking down threes from that left wing. He is working his way into that defensive player of the year conversation. You hear OG Ananobi, who is the steals leader with Toronto. Bain knocks down the triple. They were 9-3 and three with Desmond, and then he was out with the injury. They were barely above 500 without him. Paul pulls up mid-range. See if they go at Torrey Craig with Jaron Jackson Jr. here. Yep. Second chance and the stuff. Assist to Richard Jefferson. If you're going to guard him with Torrey Craig, that's going to be difficult. Just extremely difficult. Paul back to back. So some statements might be made midseason. Ja on the run, blocked by Busy. So, you know, it's close to L.A. There's a lot of positivities here. There's going to be opportunity. I think that's what makes it so exciting to see what the Phoenix Suns end up doing. They have out-rebounded Phoenix so far tonight. Aldama for three. Got it. Bill Russell and Larry Bird, the only guys that have pulled that off. Lob and another assist for Morant, an and one opportunity for Brandon Clark. 53, 53. 53, they're missing between campaign, Devin Booker, and Cam Johnson. But right now, the Memphis Grizzlies do not care about mm. that. Double trouble from Morant, 12 points, 10 assists. Here he comes again. Ja on the run. The lob broken up by Biombo. Morant. Rifles it inside to Williams, and he's just stacking them up now. How do we make our money if there's no commercials? <laughs> oh, we'll figure out a way. <laughs> oh, gracious. Keep the commercials coming. Now the question now is Jackson. Tyus Jones running the point now for Memphis. Jackson, Euros into the lane. Can we talk about the quiet, great game that Jaron Jackson Jr. has had? 23 points, yes. 10 rebounds, a 20-10 game with the block shots, doing a little bit of this. They put a smaller defender on him. You see Damian Lee knock down the three. Like, hey, this is your word. I've seen the, the work that you put in. You deserve this. Clark, one of five guys in double figures tonight. Knocked away by Jackson. Jones on the drive and the land. About Halliburton, we don't need to get into all of that, but he has been having an outstanding season and there's a high probability. And look. You can go home again, Brandon Clark. Under five to go. Memphis on the run, Clark. Xavier Tillman has come into the ball game. So is David Roddy. Here's Roddy for three. He's got it. The Memphis Grizzlies will be playing for the first time ever on Christmas oh. Day in first place. The tie with the Nuggets is Roddy Jams. These are guys that can still learn something from these extended minutes. But as a team, yeah, no, you don't want to watch this. Tillman. For Memphis, they snap out of their two-game skid and are now 8-2 and two in the month of December. And they'll play Golden State Sunday night as part of our Christmas Day. They own the glass. Yeah, that was a big reason for a dominant road win. And that'll do it. Our final score, Memphis 125.